Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Farfetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your new 144 or even 244 hertz monitor. And this will be just how to actually properly set it up and do it the correct way. It's not as simple as plugging it in and just getting straight to work and like playing your games with it. There's actually a lot more you guys will need to do to set this up correctly and ensure you are getting the best out of the monitor. I am actually grinding content. You guys may not think it. I didn't really upload for like five days because of winter real. You know? And then I did upload one highlight video to see how well it would do on my channel but that is about it but yeah winter i did kind of get in the way of uploads but i am back right now and you know it is christmas day it's 6 p.m and i'm recording this video so this show i'm grinding so the least you guys can do is drop a like really helps out more than you guys think and push this video out to further people this video will probably also be uploaded on christmas day so i'm not sure how good this video will actually do let's just hope it performs and if you guys again if you are new you can subscribe to the channel and on post notifications so you never miss an upload just like this it does mean a lot and yeah i don't really want to ramble on too much i do just want to get straight into this video give you guys everything you need to know to set up your new monitor a lot of you guys have probably got new monitors for christmas you've probably upgraded from 60 hertz to 144 hertz or even went from 144 to 240 hertz that's what i'm showing you guys in this video so yeah without further ado let's get straight into it So the first thing you guys are going to need to do to set up your monitor correctly is you will need to actually use a different cable to actually plug in your monitor. If you have actually got a new 144Hz gaming monitor, maybe even 240Hz monitor, you actually cannot really use a HDMI cable. Some HDMI cables may be supported, but if you are trying to use a HDMI cable within your 144Hz monitor or new gaming monitor, it probably won't work as well, but you just won't be getting the best out of your monitor. 144Hz refresh rate is quite high compared to 60Hz. HDMI cables don't usually support over 60Hz, so if you have a refresh rate over 60 hertz which would be like 144 240 hdmi cable will probably not support it and you just won't be getting the most out of it so it'd only be pushing around 75 hertz out of your actual display so you just won't be getting the actual advantage that you basically bought the monitor for so yeah you don't want to be using a hdmi cable you actually want to be using something called a dp cable also known as a display pool i will show on screen what that is right now there will be like a comparison you'll be able to see the difference between the two cables they do look slightly different but yeah display pool is just I, I don't know it's just how it's built it's a new updated cable it's basically just a newer hdmi and it is just more powerful so it will power your monitor that little better and push at all the performance and all that refresh rate or onto your display give you that 144 hertz refresh rate nice and smooth and yeah we'll just basically give you all the refresh rate you need because hdmi cables just don't do that i don't really know much more about it than that just hdmi cables are not good to use and you should probably use a display port they're kind of cheap you can literally get one for like three dollars so it isn't much of an issue you can probably get them from your local walmart or whatever it is tesco if you're in the uk so yeah it shouldn't be too hard for you guys to get one of them okay guys for the next thing i've had to head over to my desktop to show you guys so right now you are seeing my desktop it is kind of zoomed in but that's fine can't be bothered to actually like rescale it on my obs but yeah i'll show you guys a few things you have to do within your desktop to actually set up your monitor properly so what you guys want to do you can't really see it but i've got my little um taskbar like the where you guys search for things basically down here in the bottom left what you guys want to search up is display like this you want to press change display settings so i'm going have a monitor i'm going to drag it over here or we'll just enlarge this a little bit so you guys can see while you guys are over here you can see i have two display monitors you guys want to scroll down and where it says advanced display settings you want to click that this is going to show basically that you are what your monitor is i'm not sure why this one is 143 hertz like I'm, i got scammed because it was you know promoted or advertised as being 144 you know i just got really scammed there you know it's kind of sad but yeah they are as you guys can see i basically do have two 144 hertz monitors but what you guys want to do here you will probably see your new monitor on here once you've plugged it in but you do want to press this right here which is like display adapter properties for display two or display one whichever one you are cha changing you may not actually have two monitors like me once you have this open you go to monitor and you want to make sure this is on 144 hertz when you usually put your monitor in for the first time it will be stuck on 60 hertz even if it is a 144 or 240 hertz monitor it will just be on 60 hertz by native so you have to go in here and you will have to change that to the, the highest refresh rate i don't know why but sometimes that can happen and you won't even notice it you will literally just be playing on your old 60 hertz without realizing so make sure you do change this press apply and press ok and that will ensure you it is all changed and set up for windows if it just didn't install onto your actual like system properly when you plugged it in but just make sure you guys do do that and if you have two monitors do the same for the other one as well literally just like this change it to 144 press apply press ok it's kind of simple and there's also one more thing you guys do need to do on your desktop you guys will have to change this within your like graphics card settings or your graphics card control panel so i do have a gtx graphics card which is a, a geforce nvidia graphics card so when i do right click my desktop this will happen this will be the same for you guys when i right click my desktop you guys can see i have a control panel right here like the option to select it so nvidia control panel you guys may have amd control panel or 
Intel control panel. It doesn't matter, they're all very similar and they have a similar interface. So this will work regardless of what like control panel or graphics card you have. This will basically just be different depending on your graphics card or GPU. So yeah, I do have Nvidia. I think a lot of you guys will as well. You guys all know how to get into your control panel. If you've ever changed your resolution on Fortnite, it's exactly how you do that. Click onto your control panel and you will need to change a few things here. So I'm just gonna wait for it to load and show you guys. So I will enlarge it a bit, it's just loaded. And yeah, right here, you guys wanna go to where it says change resolution. You should be originally on this right here, which is a just image settings. So go down to where it says display, change resolution, and make sure you're on here. I have two monitors, so I have to select the display I want to change. So obviously this is my, these are both 144 hertz, but this is like the main monitor for gaming I use. So I'm gonna just change this one right here. And you just guys wanna just make sure you have the correct resolution selected. And then you also wanna make sure your refresh rate here is also selected properly. So just like you did in Windows, it's just the same thing. You just wanna click here, make sure it's on 144 hertz and nothing else. This may just be naturally set a little bit less than your actual refresh rate of your new monitor, or it may be even on 60, just because it's just how your system used to work and it just hasn't realized that you have a different monitor in at a higher refresh rate. So yeah, um, just make sure you guys change this right here as well. And it's kind of just that simple. You guys just need to make sure all in your windows and everywhere else, it is 100% applied as 144 hertz or whatever refresh rate monitor you had bought. Therefore, you do get the most out of your monitor. So yeah, just change this right here to the highest refresh rate. That's what you guys want. The higher the refresh rate is, of course, the better. And just press apply. It's kind of simple. Of course, I don't need to. So obviously I've done it. I just have to cross out of it. And that's it basically done. There's actually not much more to it than that. Like that's all I really wanted to show you guys for this video. You do have to just change it within Windows and also make sure you are using a display port over a HDMI so you do get the most out of your monitor. You'd be surprised. I've had friends who have bought 144 hertz monitors. I haven't realized they're not playing on 144 hertz and have just been stuck on their old 60 hertz or even just a little bit lower because when you buy one, it, like, the Windows can just actually accidentally put it onto 100 hertz and you're not getting the most out of it. I've also had a friend who did upgrade from 144 hertz to 240 hertz and when he had his monitor in, he didn't realize and just thought the difference wasn't that big between the two and was basically using 144 hertz and not the full potential out of his new 240 hertz monitor for a very long time and he just didn't notice it like it sounds really stupid but that is some things people do i know a lot of people who do try and use 144 hertz monitors with a hdmi and not a display port or a dp cable so that's something you guys want to be getting doing and i know it's just been christmas so i thought this would be a relevant time to actually make this video but yeah that, as i said that's like it for the video i want to quickly help you guys out if you did just upgrade your monitor let me know down below if you did actually just upgrade your monitor and if not just tell me how your christmas went i would actually like to know some of you guys may have not had a good christmas compared to others so i may help you guys out and probably do a little giveaway just let me know down below if you guys did get to the end of the video comment the color red down below so literally the, the letters r e d just comment that down below so i know who the loyal ones are and who watches the whole of my videos i really not like to know that and just differentiate you guys because i'm just really curious on who actually watched this full video especially if it was on christmas again dropping likes helps out more than you think if you did enjoy the video you know what to do subscribe with post notifications on to never miss an upload just like this i hope you guys all had a great christmas that's about it for the video so yeah it's been your boy farfetch and yeah